Einstein once said that if the bees were to disappear, that all humankind would follow in five years. Today the bees are disappearing, disappearing at an alarming rate. One of the things the scientists suspect to be the cause of the bees disappearing are pesticides. GMO crops rely heavily on pesticides. So genetically modified crops are designed in a lab to be the pesticide resistant. Unlike anything natural that grows, these mutant plants can be sprayed again and again with these poisons without the crop dying. The poisonous pesticides have been shown to still be in the GMO crops. And you're eating them. You're eating them. And you're eating them. Outrageously, these GMO foods are hidden away in everyday foods with no labeling. Manufacturers don't label GMO foods. Why? They're not labeled and they're not required to be labeled. The FDA won't make them label foods. Why? Very few studies have been done on the effects of GMOs on humans. Why? Just last week, the International Journal of Biological Sciences found that the rats fed GMOs had organ damage. Toxicity was found in their kidneys, livers, hearts, adrenal glands, and spleens caused by GMOs. When GMO soy was fed to female rats, most of their babies died in three weeks. And you're eating them. And so are your babies. Just say no to GMO. Just say no to GMOs. Just say no to GMOs. GMOs are genetically modified organisms. They are not grown out of the earth. They are made and unnaturally forced together in a lab. Genetic engineers alter the DNA codes by splicing in other genes from animals, bacteria, and viruses. The flavor saver tomato, for example, was made by taking a tomato gene and a flounder gene along with E. coli that had been grown on bacteria and then they were all forced together into this plant. Where are GMOs and how do you avoid them? So, here are the basics on finding GMOs until we do get them labeled. 93% soybean. Soybean products are all GMO. 80% of corn and corn syrups are GMOs. GMO fruits and vegetables are not allowed to be labeled. However, you can identify these GMOs by the PLU number that is five digits long and begins with the number eight. GMOs are hidden in many boxed food items in odd places like beet juice. The only way as of today to guarantee you are not eating GMO foods is to buy from local organic farmers or grow your own. Control the seeds and you control the food. Some facts about Monsanto Company, recently named Company of the Year 2010 by Forbes magazine. The company was a major producer of DDT. Monsanto helped produce the atom bomb. The company produced Agent Orange. Monsanto's invented VST. Monsanto applied for 20,000 patents for GMOs, said to include the patent of a pig. Monsanto sued Ben and Jerry's for labeling their ice cream BST free. They have systematically bought at seed companies around the globe, so now there are fewer options for growers. When Codex Alimentarius is implemented, organic food and seeds will become illegal. You will only be left with GMOs. The natural chain of food and reproduction is breaking apart, and bees are dying. What does this mean for us? We're next. Einstein told us. <laughs> When the bees go, we go. We sit like idiots and just complain about it. This means total and absolute control over the world's food supply. And the end of small farmers. They will have every human on earth groveling for a morsel of their genetically modified Franken food at the global breadline. Control the food, control the people. Control the food, control the people. Control the food, and you control the people. Well, I say, not on our watch. Well, we say not on our watch. We say no, not on our watch. Well, we say no, not on our watch. Well, we say, not on our watch. Well, we say, not on our watch. 
We do have choices. We can stop this. The single most important thing we can do right now is to boycott all GMO foods. The best way to do it is to boycott GMO foods. Demand labeling of all GMO products from your representatives. Buy from local farmers or grow your own organic food. Just say no to GMOs. I say no to GMOs. I say no to GMO. I say no to GMOs. I say no to GMOs. Just say no to GMOs. It just might save your life or the world.